Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review my Boohoo purchase. But before I continue, I would like to share a quote I found on Pinterest today and I thought it was perfect for this video. The quote goes something like this. Beware of little expenses. A small leak will sink a great ship. I found this quote to be absolutely perfect for shopping. You wanna be careful even when things are on sale, or needed, if you don't have somewhere to go and put it on, like don't just buy it, then you realize you have a whole closet full of cheap, affordable things and your bank account has less money than it should. Be careful and manage your finances. So so you guys, moving on, we are going to first, before I tell you anything else, let me give you a few details about the store Boohoo. Boohoo is a global brand and they bring the latest fashion at an affordable price. First thing that I do, I don't know about you, when I find these like really inexpensive store is do some research. I went online, I wanted to make sure that Everything was good, everything is safe. I mean, the website looks pretty legit from the get-go, so no like shady business or anything like that. Where they're not shipping from the US, it is coming through customs and all that. And when you have that in the mix, you can run into problems. I've had issues where I've purchased things that never arrive, I never get my money back, I never get a response. I'm always very extra careful. So while I was browsing the, the website, um, I was looking for specific pieces, but as always, you run into new pieces or things that you weren't even on the market for, but they're so cute or they look, you know, so I did end up going a little overboard and buying 13 pieces in total. I was actually counting, which is like, oh my goodness. Now there was a 60% off on every single thing, which again goes back to my cap, to my quote of, be wary of small leaks. Um, so you guys, the first item that I wanna show you, button down long line blazer dress. I am in the market for a blazer dress and this is not the one, you guys. First of all, the material is not scratchy. It's actually very soft, but it does have a defect on the um, like the fold over here in the front and there was just so there is just so much space in the back of the um, Dress that you know, it's just not worth it to me I want to move on to this crop fisherman jumper you guys the first thing I noticed is that on this on um, the neckline not it is not even so there's a flap that kind of like stands out so the neck kind of looks all this figured and once that usually happens after you throw the the shirt or whatever it is in the wash so for it to be brand new and already look so beat up um that wasn't really a good thing a good sign also the material is not scratchy but it doesn't feel like comfortable. I don't know, just the material and overall feel of the jumper, it's just not worth it to me. We are going to move on to the crepe puff sleeve lace cup detailed top. You guys, this top looked so pretty online, so bright, so pretty. <laughs> but you guys, I'm not crazy for it um, at all. It looked so much prettier online. But, you know, the quality is not that, that bad. It's actually pretty decent. We're going to move on to the Czech Self Belt Blazer Dress. I am and was in the website looking for was um, blazer dresses. I'm really into them. I'm actually wearing one now. This one is from Sara. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should, it's right here. I share my daily outfit um, looks as well. But yeah, you guys, so the Czech Self Belt Blazer Dress. It looked so pretty online. Now, I, as soon as I saw it, I will say, I will say that the discrepancy can take place because even on my camera and with the lighting, some things appear different colors. So, you know, that's something that just can happen. Like, you take a picture, sometimes they'll edit. Um, everything... You got to take those things in consideration. So I will say that I was expecting something very different than what it looks. It looks one way face to face and it looks very different 
even to you guys looking at it it might not even look as bad as it looks in person i do like the self um what do they call it the self belt no holes and it just adjusts to your waist whatever it is which i i think that more belted things should come that way it was a positive but that it's going back. I'm not going to keep it. So you guys, this high neck oversized jumper was probably like in my, I only kept a, a few things you guys. And that was one of them. First of all, I don't know if this is, but it is important to note. It is not a Boohoo brand. It's actually the only one that has a different brand on it. And the quality is actually pretty amazing i've worn it twice already i wore it the same day that it arrived i did like a whole outfit situation with it that great of a find the quality is really really nice it's soft and it just it looks expensive it looks really really nice i'm very happy uh with this purchase and you guys will be seeing a lot of this uh sweater because i, I it was definitely a positive um, and I want to move on to the petite ripped balloon sleeve tie top. Now this is a petite um, top and I know I, I was kind of like, let me see. I usually see petite and move on. I never even, I'm not petite. I am 5'5". Five five. Um, but I don't know, I was like, I love the color so much. Like I don't have a lot of these shades and I was like, you know what? At this price point, let me see what's up. If it's too small. I'll even gift it. The holidays are coming up. So I was like, you know, it looks so pretty. And it is a very cute top. It's not scratchy either. I do like it. I love the tie detail on the arms and the color is very pretty. To move on to my favorite piece. And really, um, it, it is. It is my favorite piece, you guys. It is a twist front polka dot jumpsuit. I love it. I love the fit. I love how it fits feels on it's actually a really nice soft like um uh, satiny fabric it feels really nice it doesn't feel cheapy at all I, I do have to get it adjusted a little bit in the back um which i found you're gonna see a few more pieces i found that that was mainly the issue like a lot of extra fabric on the top uh, on the back side but to me that one is worth getting fixed it's really, really cute, and the green is different. The polka dot, like, it's a really cute piece um, that you will see here on my Instagram. You'll definitely see it, you guys, especially around the holiday season. Guys, now we have one of the biggest disappointments for me, which was the double-breasted collared wool look coat. First of all, you guys, I'm really going to try really hard to put an image of what the items look like. Either way, I'm going to link everything underneath so that you guys see what's up. You guys, these coats are so cheapy. Like, the, <laughs> they look cheapy. They feel cheapy. Like, there is just something wrong with the... It, it kind of feels like a paper bag, but in a fabric. Like, I don't even know what, how to describe the... the feel of the coat I hate the cuts i hate the lining the stitching was done terrible um the lines around the collar it's just not even even i they didn't even try they didn't even try to give this coat like a, a rich look it looks looks poor <laughs> it looks poor and i've mentioned this before you guys i want to spend little money but i don't want to look like I spent a little bit of money. You know what I mean? Like I want the savings, but I want to look super rich. And none of the coats are doing that. And we have the Krebs Sweetheart Neck Puff Sleeve Top. Puffy sleeves are in, you guys. But this shirt is not that. And it's not terrible. I'm sure I, if I was really, really in need of a top like that, I would probably could make it work with accessories. Um, I didn't have anything. Also, one thing is that the sleeve, um, it has like an elastic in the arms that helps keep the puff. So you can lift it up, I guess, and, you know, make it appear more puffy. Um, it's so tight. Like it, even just the 
minute that I try it on for, it was stopping my circulation. So I can't imagine anybody comfortable with that shirt on for more than two minutes. So that was another thing that was like, okay, who's gonna, who's going to lose circulation in the arm? for this shirt okay another big disappointment you guys and this one i'm going to blame it on the camera the lighting or whatever like i mentioned before with the color uh discount discrepancy even in the clip i'm look it looks a lot more softer but it's nice it's like a very bright coral shade um there's a situation going around the the waist that just doesn't work it's so big and expanded it's just not the fabric is way too thin you can see and feel right through you'd have to wear it with you know garments underneath which is okay but it's just a, it was just too many like uh, too, too many negatives from the beginning first of all it's not the color that i thought it would be the website says rose which you would think it'd be like a pale pink and then we have the belted collared wool look coat you guys first of all this coat looks almost it looks ivory actually the color of it is ivory and it's a camel coat it's a true camel coat and it's also terrible again the coats were major fail major flop there was like no way around it that is one thing you guys i'm in a hunt for coats in that style and I'm really, I don't want to spend like that much money because my goal is eventually to buy like a Burberry like or something like really, really nice. So I'm looking for things that are like affordable so that I can still achieve that look. But this is not it. Like again, this is just not giving it to me. So you guys definitely avoid the coat section. Then we have the button front check tailored, tailored skirt. You guys... This was actually a pretty, pretty nice find. I'm glad that I got this um, skirt. I've been looking for a check skirt, um, but having scored, it's so much more versatile than just a skirt. More comfortable as well. I am, I am a mother of four, you guys. So when I get dressed, especially if I'm going out with them, I like to look fashionable, but I also like to look feel very comfortable and skirts kind of give you that comfort you look cute you look super you know trendy but you're also wearing pants so now that you have seen everything that i purchased and you hear my thoughts on this quality and what worked and what didn't i do want to go over the pros of shopping from boohoo um i wrote some of them down so that i don't forget so first things first i'm going to say there is a very wide selection i mean, update their online situation every day with a hundred new items a hundred new items is pretty good you guys so every day you go on the website and you will see something new it's affordable um, the site is very easy to navigate. I will say everything is very clear, very straightforward. So one thing that um, they have is site calculator and you can enter your weight, your height, uh, more details like your breast, um, your bra size and the size of your belly, the size of your hips. And that size calculator will give you um of what size you should be looking at what size you should be shopping for which i found really helpful the shipping was very fast about five business days it took to arrive which again it's overseas and that is still pretty fast another pro you guys is the return process so after trying this on I went ahead and went online to try and figure out how I'm going to send back the items that I don't want. And it's actually very, very easy. You just simply enter your order number, um, your order pops up, and then you make the selection of the items that you're returning, the reason, and then right there and then, you guys, they give you your label. Um, and you can return for free, which again, it's actually one of the very few stores that do that online most stores charge you for returns unless it's an item that came damaged or things like that for most stores you have to pay to return which sucks um so i thought that was actually very very nice now i don't know <clears throat> 
how long they will take to give me my money back once they receive their items. I will keep you guys updated online if there's anything funky going on you'll probably hear about it but other than that you guys i do want to tell you the the cons is really the quality of the clothes the inconsistency um like i mentioned i purchased 13 items and from those 13 items um i only kept four so you know even with all that being put into the mix i would still purchase there again first of all it's affordable um, so it makes it a great destination to buy trendy pieces. And that is one thing that I wanted to let you guys know. Um, I buy inexpensive when it comes to trendy pieces like neon, things that are in trend now, but they're not classic things that I'll probably won't wear again after the season or whenever it comes back in season, it'll be too long to have invested so much money in that item I would probably never order jeans from there um you know i definitely won't be ordering coats unless somebody i know and trust buys that same coat and tells me it worked for them but i probably won't take that risk again buying coats and outerwear from them again but definitely like i mentioned trendy pieces and um just like you know here here and there i would definitely um keep them in mind for when i'm online shopping but that's it, you guys. This is my review of Boohoo. Let me know in the comment section if you like these type of videos, what other store I should check out and review for you guys, which pieces you like. Let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe, make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.